Welcome back to Vore's Physical Media Rant. I'm Vanessa and he's Charles. Don't forget to like our video and let us know that you actually like the content that we are putting out. It also helps YouTube algorithm get more of our videos out there for people like you and people like us. Don't forget to comment down below and keep subscribing. Well, let's hope there ain't any other people like us. I don't think there is anybody well, hopefully like not, us. Hopefully not like me. We don't need two me's for God's sake. I don't think it's possible. That'd, that'd be horrible. That'd be horrible. <laughs> The world's already fucked up as it is. We don't need to. <laughs> anyway, welcome to our, our world. Yes. Which is your world. Which is physical media world. Yeah. And uh, welcome, new subscribers. Yes. Thank you so much for subscribing. You have no idea how excited we are that we're not that far away from hitting 100 subscribers. That is so important to us. That might not sound like much, but it's better than uh, nothing. I didn't think we'd even make it past. 15 to be honest with you yeah without giving up and yep but well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep pumping along we got some uh we got some big announcements mm -hmm. we do have a review today don't worry we do have a review mm -hmm. it's gonna be a quick review it's not too much to talk about on that one but mm -mm. we are gonna do a review as promised but plus we kind of have to so yeah. out of my hands well it could be in my hand all depends could be in her hand you never know. Could be in the other woman, man's hand. No. No. Because there's nobody else. Might be. No. Imaginary friend. Yes. <laughs> That's whose hand <laughs> it's in. <laughs> well, let's get started. The, this is the announcement video. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're going to announce some bad news in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Get that out of the way. Then we're going to get more chipper and get fucked up by the end of it. So, uh, let's welcome to this fucked up ride. Let's get rolling. Yes. First up, coming out of Skydance, and uh, we've been talking about this, has mm -hmm. to do with Paramount, unfortunately, but uh, as you know, Paramount's uh, going to shit, more or less. Yep. Kind of like Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers have been going to shit with uh, their streaming and their movie price, well, the movie price is being so high, it's not helping that much either, mm -hmm. and then uh, they're making theater-like movies, but TV shows right. nowadays, too. So that's not helping. Mm -mm. You know, like all the DC shit, the Marvel shit, mm -hmm. you know, all that. That's not helping with the bigger budget movies and the bigger labels. And yeah. That's why the boutique labels are the best labels. Mm -hmm. So anybody think that certain labels are trashy, you can go fuck yourself. And I think you know who you are. Because mm -hmm. this is, uh, we like the boutique labels. That's mm -hmm. where it's at. It Let, really let's is. Let's be honest. They're the ones who keep popping them out yes. like they're going out of style. Unfortunately, this is sad for Paramount, but uh, they got to do a little twist around on Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. Sony, I, I don't know about them. They're just... <laughs> they're in their own yeah. little world. <laughs> but uh, for, fortunately, since the whole Skydance Paramount thing, it's been kind of downhill. You know, mm -hmm. layoffs and then all that crap. But now we got... Uh, you're going to have disruption in home entertainment. Mm -hmm. Paramount is reportedly so severe that once titles already announced or in production, the pipeline arrived, announced in stores, there may be a long drought in Paramount 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, etc. Not from just studio itself, but also in terms of deep catalog titles from all their indie label licenses also. Which uh, I'm taking is... Once they come in store to be replenished, is going to take a lot longer to get them replenished. That's what I'm taking from it. I'm also taking the fact that they may stop putting out physical media for a little bit. I don't think they're going to stop. I think it's going to. It won't be as much. Yeah. Like you know, like in in this, we actually have a bunch of Paramount, yeah. you know, titles that we're going to be talking about. So I'm wondering once they hit all this out that they've already decided to do, I'm probably thinking you know probably what january then it's gonna down where it's not gonna have as many announcements coming out you may have maybe one or two titles and that'd be it hopefully not hope they uh perk back up and yep. get it together because paramount's a big company mm -hmm. now i could see sony i mean because the prices they charge for their movies yes but once again as we all know we're used to sony especially mm -hmm. if you buy a sony tv i used to buy them i no longer purchase sony tvs they're just way too expensive mm -hmm. and you're paying a thousand bucks more just for an oled that samsung and lg has yep 
since Samsung and LG have a partnership on some of their uh, OLED TVs. Yep. In case you didn't know, now you know. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully uh, that fixes itself. I guess we'll find out in time. Yep. But for now, that's the news we have on that. So uh, that's the bad news. Yep. Uh, next, we have a woe, unfortunately, for Warner Archive fans. And I know there's a lot of Warner Archive yes. fans. They put out some good shit. But uh, Top Cat uh, Complete Series has been moved to September 17th. Production backlog. Now, once again, this is kind of like... Uh, Skydance Paramount. Yep. Backlog. They're having uh, trouble. But I'm wondering if it's because of the company that they're having put out the movies that are actually doing the movies, making the movies, putting them on the Blu-ray desk and all that. I think that's why the production yeah. backlog is having such an issue. I mean, look at... I mean, if you're a vinyl collector, an LP collector, oh God, yes. it's the same way. There's actually only, what, two places that actually yeah. make vinyls? Yeah. So... They have that whole backlog where they say stuff's going to come out and then it doesn't come out because it gets pushed because they're so backlogged of having to do other things. It's kind of like the same thing that's going on. But it's still going to come out. It's just going to come out a little later. It's going to shit show with that. I mean, mm -hmm. how I ordered uh, in Hearts Wake's brand new uh, vinyl. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're out of Australia, so I know it takes a little bit longer to get over here. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at about another two or three months down the road. Yep. And a band that's just... Not too far from us up in Lancaster, a scent like wolves. They're having the same issues I was supposed to have it at the end of July. I've yet to receive it. Yep. So it sucks. I mean you gotta wait. I mean you gotta wait and you gotta keep waiting. But yep. But as long as we get it, that's really what matters. Yeah, true. Unfortunately if you wanted Top Cat in August, like it was supposed to be released, and now getting pushed up. But well, you don't hear that too much out of Warner Archives. No, not so really. that was a su surprise hit, but uh Coming out of Indicator, coming to Blu-ray is Pryor and Wilder, 1980 to 1991, this is UK, obviously, November 18th, this will be available, limited to 6,000 units, starring Stir Crazy, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, and Another You, everybody should know who uh, Richard Pryor is. Yes. Right? And Gene, Gene Wilder. Wilder. Yeah, everybody knows who, both of them are out. Yeah. If you don't know who Gene Wilder is, uh... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. He's Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Thirty-nine dollars for uh, these three movies. At I mean, Powerhouse, which is Indicator, that's yes. that price. That's not too bad, is it? Mm -mm. That's not it for them, though. Tell me the Blu-ray, left and right and center. Nineteen fifty-nine. This movie came out. U.S. only. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. November nineteenth. Nineteen dollars. Amazon twenty-seven forty-six. If you're interested. Also coming to Blu-ray, a movie from 1971, U.S. only. And these are available on Diabolic DVD right now. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that uh, firsthand. November 19th, $19. Amazon, $27.46. And the last title coming from uh, Indicator. Mm -hmm. The Man Who Had Power Over Women. That looks interesting. What do you think? U.S. only from 1970. Mm -hmm. November 19th, 19 bucks. Amazon twenty seven forty six. Interesting slate coming out of Indicator. Yeah. What do you think? Oh yeah, definitely. You remember uh, Indicator uh, Bruiser, mm -hmm. George A. Romero, great movie. Next coming out of Kino Cult, we have Huzzy. <laughs> coming to Blu-ray from nineteen eighty. Well, there's a lot of Huzzies in the yeah. world. <laughs> October eighth, this is available. Kino Lover sixteen dollars and fifty nine cents. What do you think? Well, she got fish in that stalking on. She's definitely a Huzzy. It's think? a very young he Helen Marin too. Yeah. Well, she must have been a hussy when she was young. <laughs> but that was out of Kino Cult. See, they mm -hmm. had to put that in the cult line because it's a little uh, skanky. Yes. Yeah. Kino Classics is up next. Coming to Blu-ray, Heidi Ho and Boarding House Blues, 1947 and 1948. October 29th is the release date. Kino Lover has it for pre-order right now, $23.96. Not a bad price nope. for two movies. Now we're moving on to Kino Lorber. But Kino Lorber's got to just keep pumping out shit. And here's another one of the dark side of cinema. I guess what we just talked about. We did. One. We talked about number 23. Now, <laughs> now this is number 24. Yeah. 2018 for 2021 HD Masters by Paramount from the, from the 4K scans. Has three movies in this. Union Station from 1950. Jennifer from 1953. And The Crooked Circle from 1957. This is coming soon. I imagine as soon as this uh, gets a date on it, uh, 
25th one will be out and mm -hmm. by the time them two come out 26 and 27 will be announced but uh now this next one sounds very interesting yeah, I've, you know you heard of crack whores <laughs> but now coming from synodon we're getting we're getting crackoon so the <laughs> raccoons on crack what the fuck is this we had what cocaine bear we had cocaine werewolf yeah. now we got crackoon what's next <laughs> let us know in the comments if you're interested for a raccoon on crack <laughs> october 29th if you're know, just in time for halloween yes so amazon 26.99 what the hell is wrong with you amazon why would you want to do a movie <laughs> <laughs> crackoon what the fuck <laughs> I told you there's some fucked up shit on this, and we got fucking. Cr now we're talking about crack, yeah. Huzzies and crack. Coming out of Sony, coming to Blu-ray is the Crown, the complete series, a big old box set. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? I've never. I don't think I've ever heard of this. Though. I have. It is about obviously the Queen of England. Yeah. Well, obviously I took that. But yeah. <laughs> it uh, runs from 2016 to 2023. It's, that's actually a pretty good mini mm -hmm. season. October 15th, Amazon price, though, $215.99. Hopefully that price will drop, but who knows with Sony. It is six seasons in this, though. It, it is. I think it should drop to at least 150 bucks. I yeah. Would, I mean, but uh, also you have the Crown Season 6 coming. If you have all the first five seasons, mm -hmm. you can get the sixth one on Blu-ray also. A uh, standard edition. Standard of it. edition, September mm -hmm. 10th, yes. Now, coming out of Universal, we are getting Belgravia, the next chapter. 2020 movie. September 3rd, this will be available if you're interested. Now, coming out of Lionsgate, and we are back to the uh, re-releases mm -hmm. and the exclusive at the same time. Yep. This is very cool. I actually rather enjoyed this movie. I didn't think I would because it's Blumhouse and they're very hit and miss. They are hit and miss. But we're getting a 4K still book, Amazon exclusive. Yes, this is Amazon exclusive this time. Mm -hmm. Unless Walmart sneaks one in like they did with Borderlands. They might. But Borderlands is doing horrible in the theater. Really? Yeah. Mm. But this is available October 1st, but this is another case of the Blu-ray came out. And it's fucking Lionsgate this time. Yep. Of all of all companies to do this, it's Lionsgate. They usually don't do that. No, not normally. That they, they I mean this is cool. I will probably uh get this just because I actually enjoyed this movie. Yeah, I actually really I was enjoyed very, this I was too. very surprised. I thought it was gonna be fucking gay, but it wasn't. Yep. It's not a too bad of a price. It's uh mm -hmm. Amazon has it obviously twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. October first is the release date. I think it's pretty cool looking. It's uh Hopefully the collars pop like that on the screen like yeah, it does definitely. on that uh, still book. But uh, it's kind of bullshit. They should have uh, did that the first time around instead of... Maybe they didn't have time to do it the first time around. Maybe. I just think they just wanted to pull a Universal. Or, Maybe. <laughs> or Paramount and Warner Brothers. And, and hell, Sony's done jumped the bandwagon too. Yep. Except they charge ten dollars more for their movies. Yes. <laughs> Next, coming out of Welgo, USA, and this movie looked very interesting. Mm -hmm. This movie is on uh, Groove also. You can get all three versions: DVD, mm -hmm. Blu-ray, and 4K. But we wanted to show you the 4K because we finally got the picture. It's actually pretty cool looking. Yep. Exhuma from 2024, October 8th, Amazon 34.98. I probably will be picking this one up. This movie sounded very interesting. Yeah, I'm actually really excited because this is Wellgo USA, and most of the time they only put Blu-rays out. So this is a 4K. This is a kind of big deal yeah. for them. We had uh, Train to Busan and mm -hmm. Peninsula. Yep. And if you have not seen Train to Busan, that is Why? one of the most wildest roller coaster rides of a zombie movie I have ever seen. I freaking that is a movie I highly recommend. If you have not seen it, you need, need to, to watch you it. need to watch it. It is it's it sets and it goes off mm -hmm. until the very end. Nine fucking stop. That's the type of zombie shit I like to see. Yeah. World War Z take a hint. <laughs> very nice though. What do you think? Yeah. Now this one up next is coming from Paramount. Starring Bing Crosby. So you know damn well this is a musical. Well, he's in it. From 1954, mm -hmm. White Christmas. And if you remember before, this came out and the transfer was not that good. Mm -mm. So, hopefully this time the transfer is going to be a lot better. Coming 4K. 
we will probably be receiving this in mm -hmm. i would imagine november 4th this is available just in time for christmas yep which is perfect because i actually i really love this movie he's never seen it i also normally when it comes to musicals i don't I only make him watch it once and he never has to watch it again. <laughs> yeah, I can, musicals a little, uh, leave a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. But, uh. But this at least got Bing Crosby and I think you like Bing Crosby. I hope he's better older than that, uh, guy from Casablanca. I mean, um, <laughs> Humphrey Bogart. Bogart. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to watch a movie with that little fucker in again. <laughs> but, let's keep rolling on. Mm -hmm. MVD. We got, they're hosting a flash sale. Ronan Flicks fast. Flash, flash, blah, flash sale. Fifty percent off, free shipping on seventy-five dollar plus orders, August twentieth through September second. Yep. They're gonna select titles, but I will tell you right now, you can get I Spit on Your Grave three to set four K mm -hmm. for half the price. Yep. I got it. But not only that, they also have their other labels yeah. that they have on there are actually on sale as well. Yeah. It's just they're promoting the Ronin yeah. Flicks part. And as you can see on your screen, Haunt, I highly recommend. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, nice collector's edition. We did an unboxing video a while back. We did. That thing is freaking nice. I kept waiting for that to go on sale, and then I pulled the trigger on it. Because it was, it was expensive. Yeah. But I wanted it. That thing is so freaking nice. It is very nice. That if you were going to pick up any movie out of that, pick up Haunt. Mm -hmm. It is not a movie to sleep on. It is freaking good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That is one of the best stream haunted house movies i've seen in years yeah it's really really good so get on over there definitely support it it's, it's, it's well worth it they got some awesome titles on there coming out of paramount again we are getting a re-release but this time around it's an amazon exclusive mm -hmm. with a digital code in mm -hmm. this 4k of planes trains and automobiles starring john candy and steve martin november 12th this is available 30 dollars and 99 cents Apparently this was a bad transfer in this first time around, so I'm hoping they just don't throw that back in there. Hopefully they fix it. Right. But we I did not buy the 4K version. We yeah. have the Blu-ray version because we had literally just bought that and then they came out the 4K, so we decided not to upgrade. Yeah. We'll probably end up getting this one in, so mm -hmm. we'll be giving our review on it. Hopefully it's a different disc, but who knows? Maybe James Cameron overlooked. That's the problem. Maybe. That old fucking geezer. They... <laughs> But we announced this the other day, and we finally got a price tag on it. You need to pick this up. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best war movies I think I've ever seen, to be honest with you. Other than, uh, what was that one we watched? Um, 1917. 1917. I really enjoyed that one. But when it comes to Mel Gibson, I really enjoyed this. I know a lot of people love Braveheart, mm -hmm. obviously. The Patriot, The Passion of the Christ. That was such an yep. excellent movie he directed. Then you had... Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Fat Man. That's another one you need to check out later on. But uh, mm -hmm. November 5th, this is available $25.99. Not a bad price. Nope. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Aren't you excited? Oh, yeah, very, I'm very excited. I'm hoping they put Dolby Atmos in this. Please, Paramount, put Do Dolby Atmos in this. We will be getting this one in, so we will be doing a review on this movie. Yes. What do you think? Yes. I know you love war movies. Oh, I love war so, movies. But next up, the 4K of Ghost. Standard, we're getting Paramount Presents, which costs more. Mm -hmm. The UK is getting the standard, which is a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. October 21st, Amazon UK, 19, 17 pounds. So, that's good for our uh, friends over in the UK. Yep. You all getting a lot of stuff cheaper. Of course, you always get the better stuff than what we get over here. <laughs> <laughs> but this next one got me a little freaking heated. Because... Well, over here in the States, we are getting it in the Paramount Scare set. Mm -hmm. Italy's getting it outside it. Now, the UK is getting it outside of it. That means we're going to have to wait a, probably a fucking year the, for Paramount to put it out over here in the U.S. outside of that goddamn box set. <laughs> They're doing it elsewhere. Why the fuck can't they release it in the States? Well, people like me, you got to get the box set mm -hmm. just to get that one movie that you want. Or you got to import this one. Or you got to import that one, yes. Mm -hmm. Which I actually thought about importing this. I just assumed that you were going to. <laughs> but 
Now, obviously, this is in the UK, as you just see my mm -hmm. frustration. It's Friday the 13th, Part 2, and I, I, I really want to see this. October 7th, Amazon UK, $19.17. Pounds. I am very heated about this because Italy's getting it, which is, which is good. UK's getting it, which is good, but why the fuck can not we, we cannot get it outside of the box? They put it in the box to where we're, we have to get it if we yep. want to see it or we import it. Yep. Which you have to pay import charges, obviously. Yep. But I don't know if I'm going to get to import this or not. I may. If Diabolic DVD has it, you'll get it. Probably, yeah. Or one of the other ones. Mm -hmm. It's just some bullshit. Heavy. I know damn well what will happen. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll import it or get it from elsewhere. Then Paramount will come home. Oh, yeah, by the way, it's coming in yeah, the States here next exactly month. That's exactly what's going to happen. So I'm going to be writing a very nasty letter to Paramount and telling them I hope Skydance shuts down. <laughs> Shuts you down and you're done. This is the bullshit that's pissing us off over here. The re-releases, you're putting it in exclusive box sets. You're putting it outside of the U.S. What's next? I don't know. All right, I'm done right now. I'm going to continue. Okay. But then, then actually, here's the next one. We got the 4K of Breakdown. Once again, that's in, that's in the uh, Paramount Scares Volume 2 set. Mm -hmm. UK is getting it outside of the set. I don't understand how they get it, but we can't get it outside of the set. We I don't have to, it has it. to be locked in where you have to buy the set in order to get the movie if you want it. To know. me, that's bullshit. You should have the options if you want the set. The set, I mean, it's Paramount Scares is cool. I, yeah. I, I definitely agree. It is a nice looking it set. It is a nice set. It we got a, the first one, and that one looks really nice. It's a very nice set, but uh, I had sex with it a couple times. No, but, we didn't. Uh, but then in this. I know. I don't understand. What the hell is wrong with you, Miss mm -hmm. You need to contact them and get them on the phone to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 4, 4K a breakdown, which is in the Paramount Scares. UK is getting the standard. October 7th, Amazon UK, $19.17 pound. You're welcome. Next up, 4K of The Catch a Thief, UK Collector's Edition. We are getting this over here, though, mm -hmm. in the Paramount Presents line. Yeah. But uh, this is available October 14th. Amazon UK, 29 17 pounds, rigid slipcase, capacity, wallet, two posters, five art cards, director's behind-the-scenes card, Burton's Van Sign, hotel front desk note. I wonder what's written on that note. I don't know. How to catch a thief? Maybe. Well, hell, we got a couple of feet to work. I don't know why the hell, the hell they can't catch them. Yeah, I don't know. They don't care. Too much kiss-ass. Yep. But you want to catch a thief, it is coming out very soon. Next, coming out a rare video... Ryan in a woman's prison. See, that's what's going to happen if they keep fucking with this uh, <laughs> Friday 13 Part 2. Yep. It's going to be a goddamn riot. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Excuse my language. I'm sorry, but I'm a little fired up. It's been a rough day at work. Now i got to come home and I see this shit. just gets me all fired up. She thinks it's funny. <laughs> this is the more tame side of this relationship is numb nuts here. And I'm the one that gets all fired up about a movie. But then sometimes the roles reverse and he's like, baby, got to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not going to calm down. <laughs> October 8th, Amazon, $22.49. Now, this one is actually pretty cool coming out next. This was very cool, didn't you think? Yes, I thought this was Now, awesome. this is not the movies. This is the TV show, The Complete Collection of Paddington Bear, Series 1 and 2. Now, we are getting ready to get Paddington, what, Peru? Yes. I cannot wait to Number see that. Number 3. Number 3, yeah. That was mm -hmm. a... The first two were really good movies. Yes, I enjoyed the two. But uh, this is the pop-up book edition. Very nice. Mm -hmm. October 28th is the release date. Amazon UK, 33, 32 pounds. 56 episodes. That's a lot of episodes. Yep. Plus three longer specials restored and remastered in HD for the first time ever. I got excited when I seen this. I'm like, damn, this is the movies. And it's like TV shows. I'm like, that's still freaking cool, though. Yes. This I'm bit. excited. Let us know in the comments if anybody is uh, outside of the U.S. or in the U.S. that plans on picking this up. This is very nice. Definitely. Coming out of Paramount, and you know they just released a still book of this. We knew it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. We're now getting a standard of the SpongeBob Swear Pants. Swear Pants. <laughs> swear Pants. Swear Pants movie. Uh, if you're interested, if you didn't get the still book, you didn't like the way the still book, we, we showed the still book all. Yeah. So if you didn't like still book, tell us to go fuck ourselves and get the standard. November 12th, this is available. Amazon $25.99. Not a bad price. Nope. But I will recommend you need to pick this movie up. This is the movie you need to have in your collection. You get David fucking Hasselhoff in 4K. Right? Yes. In the ocean. Mm -hmm. No shirt on. With SpongeBob and uh, 
What's name on his back? What do you think? Yep. Uh, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Next, coming out of WB, we're getting DVD Captain Planet and the Planeteers. I remember this TV series. The character looked interesting, but I can't place what uh, what it is, though. If you see a short of it, I like a little glimpse of it, I think you would probably hmm. remember this. But okay. I remember, like, the kids, they all had rings. They all helped him save the planet with, like, the... Uh, with recycling and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. The complete franchise, so. Mm -hmm. Includes both series. One, Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Two, The New Adventures of Captain Planet, October 15th. Amazon, ninety nine ninety nine. A little pricey. For a DVD, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully that price drops a little bit. Warner Brothers, what do you think? Mm-hmm. But next up, we are getting a re-release, because remember, this sold out. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming this is getting re-released because of the whole switch over. Yeah. Plus with Gladiator 2 coming out, mm -hmm. which I have no desire to see because Russell Crowe is not in it. No. So there's no need to see it, at least in my mind. But if you want to see the true Gladiator, you need to see this. It's such a badass movie. It's a badass still book. Mm -hmm. But uh, November 12th, Amazon, $30.99. I would get on and pre-order it. It's definitely worth it. And uh, two titles left. So... Coming out of Umbrella, we are getting the December titles announcements tomorrow. We will be back on tomorrow with mm -hmm. those announcements, so definitely get excited. And last, coming out of TerraVision, you can finally pre-order Frogman. Yes. And if you know, you, you got all kind of swag with this. Yes. That was, I mean, it's the first one, but uh, this one only has 621 left in stock. Had a $40 price tag. It was limited to 1000 Yep. It's selling pretty damn quick. It really is. But that is our announcements. We will be back with a review. And uh, hopefully Numb Nuts here will give more input here. Get her all fucking fired up. Maybe throw a hot cup of coffee in her face. That'll wake her ass. Oh my gosh. I don't really want to go to the hospital. Yeah. We'll just have a red face for the video. Then we'll be done. No. But okay. That is our announcements. Numb Nuts has to go. So I got to go. We will see you on the next one. Bye.